All right, guys, safety always second. Once you feel something hit your eye, then think about wearing safety glasses. <laughs> yeah, this is coming from the guy that already had to get surgery from his eyes for not using these. And I'm still a hard ass and don't want to wear them. But, you know, we got to set a good example here. Um, all right, so here I have the Toyota Solara Knuckle. Um, yes, we will be worrying about something about holding on the bearing. Don't worry about that for those that you guys know and are thinking about it. Um, we do have the rotor on here, it's a huge rotor. It is the same bolt pattern. The hub and everything is exactly the same as well, which is awesome. Um, <clears throat> so the next thing would be is to figure out how to mount the caliper. Man, this thing is dirty. <laughs> well, I was expecting that to be like, you know, like, huge dust but that was oh, didn't work um so now we got to figure out how to make that caliper and yeah, that thing's so dirty hold on cut what? <laughs> oh there now it's coming off don't worry they're gonna get repowder coated so i don't care if i'm scratching the paint Make it at least a little bit presentable. Man, I feel like I'm getting my kids ready for church. That's right, I'm good with my yeah, fingers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> All right. There we go, that looks better. All right, so next thing is having to figure out the location or the mounts. Um, it's really, really close where they mount to. I'm not gonna throw it on right now because it's kind of a pain in the ass to throw in and out. It kind of, so what I've noticed is if I ever want to like remove the rotor and or the caliper, the rotor and the caliper kind of has to come together because uh, or come off together and kind of go on together just because it's such like kind of a weird tight spot like if you look at the rotor this this inside piece actually like divots into the inside of this rotor so it kind of goes in funky uh, so it's it's extremely hard to try to fit it in if I wanted to try to fit it in right now I would have to go from like somewhere else and then fish it around anyways so right now the only way that I was able to make these work with the uh, knuckle is uh, physically actually cutting the the stock mounting locations for the knuckle, uh, for the caliper on the knuckle, and then essentially uh, cleaning them off, shortening them to what I need to shorten it. I shim the uh, the spacing between the pads and the rotor so that it's not physically uh, resting right on top of it. I just use like a nice thin piece of cardboard. Uh, and then once I like the location, I'll mock it right up, get it close enough, uh, throw some tack welds, uh, and then I clean this material and heat it up a lot because this is uh, cast iron. And if you know about welding cast iron, uh, it needs to be really, really hot for you to actually get it to like penetrate and like actually stick. So, uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna proceed to cutting these pieces off, cleaning everything up. Um, and then uh, we'll proceed to mocking this guy up and then we'll see how where she lands. Oh, by the way, check out this new awesome grinder made by Milwaukee with rapid stop. Every single time you're grinding, let go, immediately stop so you can set it down. What a great quality piece. Milwaukee sponsored with it. <laughs> So what's the new problem? New problem is the same problem. <laughs> it's just that it's a, it's a very fine line where you have to place it at. I don't know how the hell I got that one first try. That pisses me off. Anyways, um, that one that one you know the wheel the wheel spins free. No problem. See, but see how I can't. It's not spinning. 
So you can actually see it from right here. Well, see, now it, it opened up. But see, I don't have both screws. I might be able to shave that guy down enough to where it'll help it. But see, now with that other one tying up, you can kind of see the top right there. There's kind of a gap. What can I use to point? You see right there, there's actually a gap where the flat actually kind of goes into. There's kind of a gap there, but then there's none at the bottom. And then on this side, there's a whole bunch of room now. So first, it was tight on this side and a bunch of room on this side. Now I added those shims. Now there's a bunch of room on this side and damn near almost no room on this side. But it's also only at the bottom. So that means, and I'm also missing the screw there because now I added the shims so now the screw isn't long enough to grab it. So well, maybe once I tighten it up, it'll actually be, it'll actually work. I just need to grab more hardware. Mm. Like What's the goal right now? Um, so I want to tub the car. Um, I never noticed all this crumple, but I guess it wasn't an accident, even though it's a clean title. So, so I want to tub it, so I got to remove this stuff out. Well, we gotta take off all the seam sealer. So, I don't know, I'm gonna figure out what's the first method to do it. Uh, my, buddy was a uh, my buddy who's a body guy said that this is not recommended. Like, he says that this sucks. But then I did research and everybody says yes. And it's what I have available, so I'm gonna just give it a shot to see if it works. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna just, I don't know, I see people use chisels. It was just glue holding it in. Uh, yeah. Well, this me, man. There you go. <laughs> just a little line with the other one. Alrighty. So, as you guys uh, saw, um, we took out the wheel wells, fully removed the wheel well, mainly because one of them was uh, a little bit crunched up. Well, now they're both completely crunched up. What's that over there real quick? Sorry, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> <laughs> right on me, don't, uh, no. Anyways, um, no, but realistically also I wanted to do uh, tubs. Uh, so I am gonna be tubbing in it. Just so it makes everything look nicer, you know, I am gonna try to do a smoother engine bay. Oh, we should've took this off already too. Eh, another time. Um, we're gonna be tubbing it, making everything look pretty. Um, try, probably gonna do a nice uh, shaved engine bay. Fortunately, it's not too much to do. You know, pretty much all these spot wells that you see here are just gonna get, uh, you know, body worked in so smoothed in so you don't see that anymore nice and smooth um, and essentially yeah uh, so that was another thing that I wanted to knock out again since we, we didn't have the, uh, the rack and pinion with the lines today which that was my fault we moved on and did other stuff you guys saw how we did the uh, the brake caliper which was kind of a fail kind of a success it's easy fix uh, the hardest part was done already so not a huge deal but um, at least both of them are on there already. Motor is mounted, uh, wheel wells were cut out. Um, maybe for the next video, hopefully I'll have the transmission already and we can start throwing that in. And once we have the transmission in, uh, we can actually measure out what the dry shaft we need, send those measurements out. While we get waiting on our dry shaft to be made, we can start building the transmission tunnel, which is a huge part as well. And once the transmission tunnel things is done, then we can actually move on to roll cage. Roll cage will probably be closest to the last thing, but most likely once we finish the transmission tunnel, we'll move on to doing the cantilever setup for the back. Uh, once I get those coilovers in from QA1. And um, that might be it. Maybe we'll also get our front coilovers in. Um, ooh, wheels. Maybe we'll have some temporary wheels, but they're actually some pretty nice wheels. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this one. 
Uh, we actually did a lot, I think. Quite a bit. Yeah. Raw, raw vacuum. You know, a lot of, a lot of sucking, a lot of blowing. <laughs> yeah, we gotta cut that. Out. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's pretty much where it's at, guys. Um, tune in for the next one. Like I said, everything that will be next is what most likely the next video will be. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. I was like, something's sticky. What's so sticky?